Let's talk about how we win executive support for our data strategy. Now, I've certainly been in situations where executives have articulated that, yes, they want to transform with data. Yes, they want to see things happen with data. But when push comes to shove, they start seeing a different tune. So how do we win their support for sponsorship for our data strategy? Now, one of the first things we need to look at is why is this support important? It is important because it ensures alignment with the business goals um, and you want to be aligned. You are also able to facilitate resource allocation and funding. It provides authority and legitimacy to your data initiative. So you're operating your data initiatives and you have executive sponsorship. It is likely that you will also be able to win sponsorship of other executives and other areas of management for what it is that you're doing and it enhances cross-functional collaboration and it removes barriers because the, the executive that is sponsoring is not only sponsoring from the position of finances but that person is also a voice to spread the word and get persons buy-in in terms of the strategic plan for data so you won't believe me you want an executive or a number of executives on your side in my experience when you have an executive in your corner or a number of executives it is likely to get funding for your initiative it's likely to get things going with change management for the shift in the culture because they have bought in so the benefits definitely are you'll be able to improve the decision making through data-driven insights in winning the executive sponsorship for your data strategy one of the things that you want to push forward is the value proposition right and here are some value propositions that you can share data will improve the decision making through data driven insight you can also share with them that you will enhance customer experience and satisfaction because now you'll be able to say what it is that your customers need what are the trends um, do pricing points for different category and clusters of customers etc you also will have the opportunity to increase operation efficiency cut costs look at where you have processes that are taking longer than they should and measure the different stages to see how best it can be optimized or think of a way where data can help to improve efficiency because if you have data integrated and turn around to provide the evidence for the decision making will be within minutes instead of days and so on so you can make a case for increased operational efficiency you can make a case for competitive advantage through data innovation by looking at how data can be used to differentiate the company from the competitors that are there working in the space and of course compliance with risk management with regulation etc is also a key benefit um, or a key value proposition that can be shared with the executive you want to also ensure that you are preparing yourself for the common challenges that you may face in gaining executive support one is that they may lack an understanding of the value of data so you must be able to say this in business terms the truth of the matter is an executive usually doesn't give a kick about how fancy your algorithm is going to be how fancy your artificial intelligence is going to be how fancy the infrastructure to integrate your data is going to be what the executive care about is how much money is going to save me how much money I'm going to make, right? How am I going to drive efficiency? And so the value of data must be quantified in those terms. What is going to be my rate of return if I invest $2 million on this initiative, on this strategy? When will we see it paying off? So you must be able to quantify the value in a way that the executive will understand. Two, there may be a perceived high cost and low immediate ROI. So as you build your strategy, one of the things that you want to do is to prioritize based on return on investment, based on value, those initiatives that are going to hit the bottom line 
and ensure that value is returned to the business as quickly as possible, you want to choose those initiatives. And you, especially if that initiative is a simple initiative, you want to go after the simple things with big wins, big impacts. There may be resistance to change and cultural barriers. Of course, again, certainly I have experienced executives say, yes, we want change. We want data. We want this, we want that. But when it comes to them actually using the data, there's a little bit of a pushback, right? It's not as welcoming. Um, they're not as easy to adopt to change the way they make decisions, etc. So you will have to deal with working with the executive sponsor, working with other areas of the business to drive the need to bring down that cultural barrier. There will be concerns about data privacy and security, you know, um, if we go in that direction to get benefits from our data, to use our data in a particular way, are we going to be causing additional risks for the business? And so you have to be able to identify to the executive team how those risks will be mitigated. So strategies on how to gain the buying you want to educate and inform, so present data-driven success stories, present case studies, share industry trends and competitor benchmark. You also want to align with business objectives. I have an entire video on how to align your data strategy with business objectives. I'll put the link here. So you want to demonstrate how data strategy will support the key business objectives because what is in it for me, that's what they want to know. And you want to tailor the message to each executive interest and concern. So if you deal with the executive for marketing, you want to say what is in it for you, for your marketing team, etc. If you're speaking to the executive that is responsible for finance, you want to say what is in it for you. So you want to tailor that message so they can connect with that. You want to quantify the return on investment, present clear financial and strategic benefits, use pilot projects to show proof of concept. So you don't have to boil the ocean. You can go in and you can take you take a simple problem that would have a big impact and use that as a proof of concept to show that the way that you're going will ultimately benefit the business. You want to build a strong business case. So the components of the business case you will build, of course, you have your problem statement. You want to have the overview of the proposed strategies, components, quantify the executive benefits, return on investments, the risk assessment, identify the risk and mitigation, and what is your implementation plan. My experience is that executives have very small attention span. They don't like to read a lot. They don't like to be burdened to go through too many details. So as much as possible, if you can create an elevator pitch or a very reduced condensed version of a business case that they can quickly digest, I would suggest that that be the approach. Struggling with data chaos in your organization? Feeling overwhelmed by data management? Say goodbye to those headaches with our comprehensive data governance template. Our template is designed to simplify your data governance process. Whether you're a data professional, a chief data officer, or just starting your data journey, our template has got you covered. Imagine having a clear, structured approach to data quality, data policies, and compliance tracking. Our template provides step-by-step -step guidance to ensure your data governance is robust and efficient. Our template is versatile and user-friendly. Access it from your desktop, tablet, or even on the go. Ready to take control of your data? Download our ultimate data governance template today and transform your data management strategy. Click the link below to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more data management tips and tools. Master your data, master your success. You want to ensure that in engaging the executives, you are hitting certain point of view and it needs to be practical, right? So you want to tailor your communication, use clear and concise language and avoid technical jargons, focus on the strategic value and the business impact. As I said earlier, an executive does not care about what your regression analysis is doing. They don't care about your sentiment analysis. They don't care about what a data warehouse is. They could care less about the inner workings of an AI model. 
What they want to know is how does this impact the bottom line and what you're bringing to the table, how it's going to improve on revenue, cost savings, how we're going to generate new business models or new products, etc. Visual storytelling, as I said earlier, they don't like to go into too many details. Use visual like charts, graph, and dashboards to illustrate key points. Regularly update and reporting, keep the executive informed of the progress and the success. I would suggest here potentially using a newsletter. Use metrics and KPI to demonstrate what's happening and where you are going. So you have to ensure that you know what you're going to do to adjust cultural resistance. I have a recommendation here that you promote a data-driven culture and leadership support. If the cost is a concern, you want to highlight the cost saving aspects and the long-term benefits. And data privacy is a concern, you want to emphasize having a robust security and compliance measures. And this is how you work towards getting your executive team to buy into your data strategy.